Hey guys, Winston for Carbide3D here. Expanded or cellular PVC is a very popular signage material, and for good reason. It's lightweight, it mills easily, it's durable, and it can retain crisp details. Here's a quick sign example to give you some ideas for how to machine it. My project options are limited because I'm starting with smaller sheets of expanded PVC, but that's not a problem. Let's do a warning sign since it's pretty easy to find SVG drawings of these things online. I'm going to bring a triangular sign profile and some symbology into Carbide Create and scale them to fit my material. I'll also arrange the profiles to make slightly more efficient use of my material. Because there are some small features in this project, I'm going to cut everything out with a 1 16th inch end mill. And because expanded PVC machines so easily, we can push our end mill pretty fast. I'm starting at 16,000 RPM, a 40 inch per minute feed rate, and a 0.08 inch depth of cut. With these settings, getting through a quarter inch of material wouldn't take very long. I exported two versions of my toolpaths that differed in whether or not I was cutting my large triangle as the back panel of the sign or as the border. At the CNC, I used some double-sided tape to hold down my PVC. Make sure you use enough because I definitely did not, but I managed to fix that in between cuts. The toolpaths here ran without any problems after that little mishap. The parts that come off the CNC will probably need a tiny bit of cleanup, but that's easy enough with a sharp blade. A little scraping will go a long way towards removing hanging chips and breaking sharp corners. Not only will these pieces end up way cleaner than I could ever get with MDF parts, but because PVC isn't fibrous, the walls will stay smooth even after painting, there's no grain to raise. Once the sign pieces are dry, you can glue them together with the adhesive of your choice. I'm using CA glue on the border because that part of the sign isn't going to change. But at the moment, I'm not sure which symbol I want on my sign, so I'll use some double-sided tape to give myself options in the future. And I was going to put this on my office door to keep people out, but I think you would be better served downstairs to alert through traffic to local hazards. And that is my good deed of the week taken care of. But wait, there's more. I recognize that most people aren't going to be using puny 1 16th inch end mills for making signs. So here's my word of advice for using larger end mills. Pretend you're cutting wood. This stuff is extremely forgiving. The middle of the road settings you use for cutting plywood or MDF would do just fine here. And once you gain confidence, you can step things up a bit. Here are some speeds and feeds I tried on a whim that worked great. For a 1 8 inch end mill, 16,000 RPM, 60 inches per minute, 0.1 inch depth of cut, contour or pocket, it really doesn't matter. For a quarter inch end mill, 16,000 RPM, 75 inches per minute, 0.1 inch depth of cut. These are conservative and you can go faster or deeper, but mind your work holding. If you're cutting thin features or only using double-sided tape or tabs, you don't want to be too aggressive. So there you go. Expanded PVC cuts great on a Shapeoko and is super useful for signage, indoor and outdoor applications, substituting for wood, and more. Hope this video gave you some project ideas. If it did, tapping the old like button would be greatly appreciated. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.